said Lord Nakis certainly brought tremendous destruction. 140,000 loss of lives. About 80,000 perish. About 60,000 lost, considered dead by now. And that is in the delta of the Irrawaddy River, considered the rice bowl of Myanmar, and used to be the rice bowl of Asia too, where the British were there. ASEAN was asked, was begged, was appealed, to go into Myanmar, provide the international community with what we call a diplomatic umbrella, so that the international community can rally behind us and come into Myanmar. For the first time, the place is open for international assistance. For the first time, all UN agencies are admitted for the first time, international NGOs are inside. The Deputy Secretary General mentioned my role in East Timor in 1999. When I went to Jakarta, I had to be very, very careful to say that I am the Foreign Minister of a neighboring country who happens to be the chair of ASEAN at the same time. But I'm not here as chair of ASEAN because we have to be extremely careful not to involve ASEAN in internal affairs of the state, of member states. This time, <clears throat> you ask Marilyn, we were asked to go in as ASEAN. It's unfortunate that it had to come on the heel of a major tragedy. But there is a silver lining to this tragedy. And that is, we have been able to help open Myanmar, increase a level of comfort, and allow the international community to come in, allow the Myanmar authorities to feel confident engaging ASEAN, engaging with the international community, with the UN. The challenge before us is to maintain this humanitarian space. Now, you ask me, how are we advancing the liberal values, the democratic values in ASEAN today, these days? Never before has ASEAN been able to win the trust, political trust, security trust of the international community than now because of what happened in Myanmar. So, a lot of international organizations and dialogue partners plus non-dialogue partners who also would like to promote Freedom and liberty and democracy are now swinging behind us here and ask us what can we do to help ASEAN and ASEAN Secretariat do your job better. It is a humanitarian opening, but that humanitarian opening requires a political decision by the leadership of Myanmar to open up the country for ASEAN, for the international community, for the UN, for the NGOs to go in and deliver assistance to those people. My argument to all this, the World Bank, the ADB, Australia, the US, Japan, Canada, Norway, no, in 
Nordic country, which has been the champion of democracy and freedom and liberty around the world, has decided that a strengthened ASEAN is going to be better for the region to deliver other services and other good contributions to the region, including the service of freedom and liberty and democracy in the region. So what we are trying to do in Myanmar now, there is a phrase, I think it's by Bill Clinton, when you go into a crisis torn area, your hope is to build back better. BBB. Our ASEAN hope in Myanmar is build back better for both of us, for Myanmar and for ASEAN. ASEAN has to come out of this stronger. ASEAN has to come out of this strengthened. The confidence that we have and the support that we are able to attract from around the world, from friends, from allies, from dialogue partners, are now giving us hope that the new members of ASEAN in the Mekong Delta, Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam, may now have better opportunity through ASEAN to help us bridge the gaps that exist between us, development or otherwise. I had a discussion with the president this morning. He said, yes, the Coral Triangle, yes, the Bibianga, the Brunei, Philippines, uh, yeah, Indonesia, Malaysia, together, Areas, pockets of poverty within ASEAN can also be assisted, can also be done. Because of this trust and confidence that we have been able to win, to, to garner from the international community. My hope is that we can have a master plan of ASEAN development, covering areas and pockets of poverty that need to be developed, that need to be assisted. That is the only way that we can build a stronger ASEAN, a more inclusive ASEAN, a more equitable ASEAN, only when ASEAN is confident of itself and able to win the trust and the confidence of